Welcome Aquarius. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using the Starseed Oracle, Divine Directions and Animal Tarot. Okay, so let's have a look see here. What do we want first? We want Starseed Oracle. Okay, so one card for Aquarius please. We're going to have a look at um, the, we're going to read the meaning out of the book at the end of the video. So make sure you stick around for that. There it is. Okay, and here it is. Okay, the cosmic heart. Beautiful, I love it already. Okay, so devotion, potency. Make your life a moving prayer. Wow, that is beautiful. Okay, so let's have a look further into this. The cosmic heart. Love it. Okay, tell me more about the cosmic heart for Aquarius, please. One more card. There it is. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, the one on the floor is time. Okay, the other two, sorry. Recharge and what's this one? Move. Okay, so, time. The universe is helping you. Sorry, that was a full stop. The universe is helping you. <laughs> Look for synchronistic events around you. Okay, so, time. Okay, so, Aquarius, time. Tell me more about time for Aquarius, please. How's the universe helping Aquarius? synchronistic events looking for this life this moving prayer life right seeing evidence of it in your life asking for that a eh? asking to be shown that right so what else do we have well way over there one more card maybe or not Yep, okay, cool. Okay, Aquarius, so we have the first card out here under time is the Four of Winter, taking time out, right? Taking time out for yourself for rest and rejuvenation. Um, I feel like for some of you, you've, um, you may have been through some hard times and, um, and that's not to say that no one has, but it's been particularly, particularly um, heavy for you, I'm feeling. Um, and having this time, and, and it could be that you've been taking this time for yourself, or you need to. Um, but, but doing that allows these stars to come out from behind the clouds, right? It feels like the sky is clearing and the stars are shining down upon you. Okay, for you to start actually singing your own tune here, all right, the what was once dried up is now flowing again, okay, and it's sort of like you're coming to life, your life is coming to life, it has purpose and meaning to it again, yeah, because there's been some real heartache here, you've needed to be nurtured and loved and cared for Aquarius. It's been really tough. It's been really tough. So this this time out has definitely been needed. Um, I just feel like with this eight of autumn here, that for some of you, you've really learned a lot about yourself potentially. Um, for others of you, this could be that you need to um, start to study again, okay, to recreate your the life that you want. There may be some learning required, okay, whether that be in the educational system or just about yourself or in some other form okay that is something you, you can definitely look into we have the queen of spring here now the queen of spring see she looks after everyone right she takes care of everything and i feel as though actually aquarius it's time for you to be taken care of It's sort of like, this is so interesting because I've never had this from this card before. She's placed her crown upon the chair and gone, 
excuse me for a minute. I'm just excusing myself from my duties right now so that I can take the time I need for me. Which is perfect because this is exactly what the Queen of Spring would need to do. See, she knows how to take care of everything, including herself. So I feel as though it's time to pour stuff in, back into you here, Aquarius, okay? And um, yes, we have the Ace of Spring here as well. And this is sort of saying the same thing, to have this new beginning take place. In order to take care of everybody, it's important for you to give to yourself what it is that you need for this beginning to take place, okay? Recharge. Please slow down. It's not selfish to take time out to look after yourself. Interesting that that's come out here because we've just kind of covered that. But, okay, yeah, see, it's cool because I feel like for some of you, you've been with this Eight of Autumn card here. You may have been working far too hard. Anyway, let's have a look further at this, though. Whoa. Any more cards for recharge? Mm. Oh, okay. We are coming out. Okay. That's it. Okay, so... We have strength card here, first up, okay, this is really you. Aquarius, there's been circumstances where you've had to draw on every little ounce of every little, oh, everything that you, you have in order to just get by, second by second. You know, it's like everyone says, take, Take it day by day. For you, it's been, I often say minute by minute, but for you, I feel like it's been second by second. Breath by breath. It's been really hard. And you you have this inner strength, and maybe this is what you're learning about yourself, that you have the strength that you didn't know you had. You know? For some of you, it's like there's this sort of exhaustion of trying to be the peacemaker with everybody. It's like taking a break from that, going, do you know what? Not my problem. And, and maybe that's what you need to do. Maybe there's this um, distributing of responsibility that needs to tr take place. To say to everyone, this is, you're responsible for this, you're responsible for that, I'm responsible for this, and um, and rather than you having it all on your plate to actually take care of, that could be required right now, especially while you need this recharge, right? Delegating, so that you are able to take care of what it is that you need to take care of, okay? We have the Queen of Summer here. Okay, I want to read this out. This is a time of deep emotions and heightened intuition that you can trust completely. Be mindful you don't ignore your own needs while caring for others. Yep, see? 100%, right? She glides along the water here like it's no problem, very ever so graceful and poised underneath her feet, are frantically going to town right? Because there's no current to carry her. So no one really sees what's going on underneath. No one really sees what's going on inside, you know? And so this is something that it's important for you to tend to right now. Okay, the em Empress. See, this is another one. This is, I love how all the queens are coming out here. These queens who know how to take care of everything. This is the role that you're in. This is the role that you put yourself into. And it's okay, it's okay to be in that role, but it's, it's I, I think it becomes um, unhealthy when we stop taking care of ourselves and put ourselves on the back burner and, um, and, and don't cater to our needs. Because if, if, if you're the one who is taking care of everyone, if something happens to you, what happens to everyone else? They need to learn to take care of themselves. That's a healthy way to do things, right? The Empress, 
She doesn't do everything for everyone else. She knows how to. She knows how to build her empire. She knows how to do it. But what she does is she teaches everyone else how to do it too. So everyone else has their responsibilities. Everyone else has their jobs. So it's not all up to her. So she can sit on her throne every now and then, right? And take the time she needs out for herself. Because everyone else knows what to do. It's not an issue. Everything will keep running as it needs to. And, and just look at that too, Aquarius, if that's what, you know, sometimes we can take it all on board ourselves. And part of that is about f feeling like we're in control. And I don't mean it in a way of, oh, you're controlling and, you know, or anything like that. But I want to say that when you've been through some heartache and um, and there's been some things that have hurt you and potentially even traumatized you, it's easy to kind of take on the role of right of going right, I'm going to take care of everything. So if I'm in control, then nothing can happen that's going to cause that heartache and that trauma again, right? So we can do that subconsciously as a coping mechanism. So just be mindful of that. Okay, um, we've got this Princess of Autumn here. It's like there's something you would like to learn or something that you would like to study. It could even be about yourself. And because I'm just noticing the cat's paw on the book here and the look in its eyes. It's like, I really want to do this, but there's something stopping you. There's something stopping you from pursuing a dream of your own. And I just want to say that often that something can be ourselves because we believe, oh, I can't because I've got to take care of everything at home got to take care of the family I've got to do this and I've got to do that I can't possibly do this as well and that's maybe where this delegation comes in right because everyone needs to learn what it is that they need to do in order to live in the world for when you're off when you're off doing your thing learning what it is that you need to learn yeah so it just might need to be that there's some adjusting in your life that happens so that you can pursue the things that are going to fill, fulfill you in your life, okay? And we have the dreamer here. And this is all about taking that leap of faith and going for it, right? This new beginning, because this is life-changing. This isn't just a little, uh, I might just learn how to do my crame. This is actually life-changing stuff. And um, in fact, there's a few cards here that, you know, this is big. This is big, Aquarius. So, you know, don't let it go. Okay, don't let yourself... Um, sorry, let me reword that. Give yourself the honour that you deserve by pursuing what it is that you would like to pursue. Okay? Move. Get up and get active. Try gentle exercise such as yoga, tai chi or pilates. Mm, so maybe that's something that you can learn about or do, and this could change your life, especially in the area of health. Okay, so move. Tell me more about move. Ace of winter here. Um, for some of you, I feel like it's time to get honest with yourself. To cut out all the rubbish. Um, this could even be food-wise, because the panda is reaching for the bamboo, which is what the panda digests, right? Ingests. But this says, I want to read it actually, implementation of your brilliant new idea may get off to a rocky start, but keep going. The challenges will help you refine your plan and reshape your goals into something even better. But get serious, get serious for yourself, right? 
four of summer you see this is you you've had this rest and relaxation right coming out of your shell and notice that the turtle here is surrounded by veggies this is so interesting that this is coming up right now um, so this might not be for all of you, but this is some of you have been looking at maybe a lifestyle change in that regard. So this is, you know, encouraging you to do this. Yeah, do it for you. Do it because you're worth it. Do it to teach yourself that this is part of the self-love. That you desire. That you deserve. Yeah. We have the gecko, the seven of spring here. We see Aquarius, here's the thing, right, is that I feel like for some of you, you feel like you're invisible to the world. Of feeling like you maybe, it's like, for some of you, it's like you feel invisible and yet you feel like you don't fit in. It's like you don't belong. You don't belong anywhere. And I just want to say to you, Aquarius, that's because you, you exceed all that is around you. All that you think you are worthy of is actually not to your level. You 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 know it's like at this level you're up here and you're trying to come down to this. No, no, no. Right? You're at such a high level that what is around you can't possibly get up here. It's not the other way round, Aquarius. It's not the other way round. You're not designed to fit in designed to stand out some of you want to blend and be swallowed up into the background into the abyss of the nothingness but use that use that to your advantage get into the abyss of the nothingness and use it to empower yourself to remember who you are to sit on your throne and own that you know really do okay we have the Princess of Summer here, and this is reigniting love. And I feel like it's reigniting love for yourself. Learning to love yourself here. Taking the time that you need in order to do that. Okay, and the last card here, which I don't know what it is, it is, ta-da, awakening. Seeing things from another perspective, right? Also, having some fun. Be getting goofy, right? Having a laugh. Being authentic. Yeah? Not holding yourself back anymore. Okay, I'm going to read this out too. Giraffe. Look at things in a different way and all will make sense. Don't worry if your progress is halted temporarily. Things will soon start moving again. Okay, so... Aquarius, where is the cosmic heart? Let me have a look at this. La, 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 la. Why is it not in alphabetical order? The cosmic heart. Here we go. Um, number 48. Or page 48, I should say. Okay, let's read this. Aquarius. The Cosmic Heart, devotion, potency, make your life a moving prayer. <laughs> when you surrender to a state of devotion, you find yourself flowing with all of life. You're being called to refocus your deep attention, uh, sorry, to refocus your attention deep within, to the intelligence of your own heart, to bow with deep reverence to your inner temple. To live your life in devotion to this place. To make your life one big moving prayer. Perhaps you've felt a bit off kilter lately. Sensing that the potency of why you're doing things has gotten a little watered down or weak. Perhaps you've forgotten what made you start doing them in the first place. So if this is your call, 
to take a moment and reconnect with the truth at the very center of your heart. To get back to the essence of what you're about. To devote your life to what you care most about. To turn your gaze deep, 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 deep. There are seasons for harvesting and seasons for sowing. Right now, you're being called to plant your soul's seeds and sing to them with the deep devotion. Yes, look at this. Singing to them, right? Watering them. Yes, yes, I love it. Okay. To feed them with the sweet waters of your own soul. To lose yourself in the potency of what it is that most expands your heart. To live your life according to what makes you come alive. Rather than what everyone else thinks. To make your life one big moving prayer. Okay, so Aquarius, a star seed soul, in, soul inquiry is this. This is the question to ponder on and ask yourself and really, really think about this, okay? How can you make your life a moving prayer? So everything that you pray for, how can you actually make your life that? What can, action can you take to make that happen? Okay? Okay, Aquarius, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.